Hey guys, Boz here. Uh, some people had asked me about the remote play capabilities of the Xbox. And there is an app on the Windows App Store. It's free uh, that you can install. It actually comes installed on, by default when you do a Windows 10 install. But if it's, for some reason, if you don't have it, I'll show you how to install it. But obviously you need Windows 10. And uh, you obviously have to have an Xbox One for this capability. You want to have an internet connection so that your Xbox and your PC are on the same network. Um, the PS4 has, I think, better remote play capabilities. Um, the Xbox is more of a local setup. You can do some stuff to get the remote connections, but um, I'm, I'm not really done much testing on either. The PS4 worked when I took it out testing, uh, but I, we're going to just show this remote feature. So you should have it installed already on your Windows 10. If not, you can search for the Xbox app. Just type Xbox, and it's called Xbox. This is not the Smart Glass app. Uh, it's the just standard Xbox app by Microsoft. Uh, once you've installed it, you can then open it. This thing lets you check your messages. Um, you can send messages, receive messages. You can do a lot of the stuff that you can do on your, your uh, Xbox through the PC. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and open it. All right. So, I mean, you can see it's got a lot of my information that I normally have uh, and all that stuff. And it's finding some different things. So it's very cool. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to this connect screen. And it's going to look to see about my Xbox One. If, and this is it, I call my D Xbox One. If it doesn't see your Xbox, you can add a device and then you can put in the IP of your Xbox. If you don't know what that is, you can go to your Xbox and go into the network information, you know, like system information networks, and you can get that IP and put it in manually. Uh, if it finds it, it finds it. It found mine, but um, I've heard some people say that they have to put the IP in. So we're going to go ahead and hit turn on. This is going to turn on our Xbox. My Xbox light just came on. Now remember, your Xbox will take a second to come up. You can see, though, that you have some features for streaming and test streaming. If you've never done the streaming before, you can hit test streaming, and that'll let you configure. Uh, or it'll do a kind of like a network test to see how good you can get the quality. Uh, you can hit the more button here to disconnect, connect automatically, turn off, forget the console in case you're like, you know, you're connecting to a friend's console and they don't want you to keep the device connected. Um, but once it's, it's up, you can hit stream. And it's going to connect to my Xbox. And you'll see it here. And there we go. And we are live. now. You can move your mouse and you can see up here you've got this console where you can hit this takes you home this turns off your your mute unmute your chat this stops streaming in case you're done and then this here is kind of important um, you can see down here it gives you a little bit of information about your your connection and then this lets you change the quality i have it set for very high because i have a gigabit network uh, so i should have no problem this screen uh, hopefully turns out nice on the YouTube video, but it looks gorgeous. Now you do need a controller for your Xbox hooked into your PC. You could use the controller on the Xbox uh, if the range is there, depending on where your computer is. But you want to have, in my case, I just have an old Xbox wired controller plugged into my PC. And when I use it, you can see here, everything moves around. So we're going to go to Battle Block Theater. Now this is even a 360 game being emulated on the Xbox. So it's really cool if you think about it. My Xbox One is playing a 360 game, Battle Block Theater. So my Xbox One's emulating a 360 to play Battle Block Theater, and the Xbox One is streaming the screen and taking the controls from my PC, which I'm recording on my PC so you guys can see it. So let's go ahead and launch the um, Battle Block. And I'll just show you, I mean, I'm looking at my computer monitor when I do this. I don't even have the Xbox monitor, the monitor my Xbox is on even turned on. So literally I could be anywhere in the house and I could play Xbox One games. A great idea if you want to be able to play something maybe while somebody else is watching on the TV. All right, so here we are in the game. Uh, we'll do a local game, story, normal. Pick what you want. I mean, Just pick a nice group. purple we'll character there. Skip this stuff. Uh, but you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm not having too any uh, problems at all. The latency and the, everything seems gorgeous. I mean, I, it, this just looks great. 
Uh, so, you know, we'll skip this because we don't care about the story. This game is amazing. Uh, it's total fun. Uh, I really recommend it. This is a great party game. And here we are where I've left off. Alright, so you can see I am running. Oh, wow, those move. So, I mean, I've been a, everything's working very good, except my skills. We got this, we got this. Boats are coming. I'm not gonna worry about the ball. Ooh, I've never seen those things before. And there we've made it. So, I mean, you can see, it plays great. I didn't feel like there was any lag at all. Everything felt very smooth. Obviously, my skills in the game aren't the greatest. Not bad, but not the greatest. Um, but just really fun, uh, but a great feature. Um, you know, like I said, it's just nice to be able to jump right into the game like this. So, hopefully you guys like this install the software try it out it's built in your xbox uh the feet the capabilities should be defaultly installed on the windows system if not just search for xbox install it remote play your xbox uh, makes it easy too if you want to stream your xbox uh, but you don't have a capture card you can just do what i did and instead of recording this i could be streaming and or recording and a great way of not having a capture card and being able to use something like obs to give you all those great features like inserting your webcam or having overlays, donations, or whatever you want to do when you're streaming on Twitch or YouTube or wherever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, check out the Xbox One streaming app.